You have moved forward in your life progress in your journey. You're doing new things. You're doing wonderful, wonderful things with your life like never before. And these people are mad because you don't want to be bothered with them any longer. See, they try to make it seem like you was the bad person the whole time. Like you was the one that was the problem in the situation. Like you was the evil one. Like you was the wicked one. Like you was the one that didn't have any common sense and that you was the one that was really the problem until you blocked them. And now they're starting to look like the evil people and bad people because you blocked them out of your life because you know that these people wasn't righteous. Now they're mad and upset because you don't want to be bothered with them and their shenanigans. See, you blocked them. Check out my previous video if you have not seen that. You blocked them because they wasn't no good. You blocked them because they appeared to be good, righteous people. They presented to the world that they were good people and that you was the bad person. But in actuality, they was the one that was toxic, low vibrational, and full of problems. And you came to the realization that these people really did have a problem. You tried to give them the benefit of the doubt a lot of times. And then you finally realize these people are not even worth the drama they're trying to put you in. They're not worth the headache. They're not worth anything. They're not worth you losing sleep at night. Because they were full of mess and chaos and overly toxic. So what you decided to do was get rid of them out of your life. And decided and said, you don't want to be bothered with these people. Now they mad throwing the fit because you don't want to be bothered with them. And you like, so? You trying to change for the better. You're trying to do righteous things. You're filled with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> these people probably don't even know the Holy Spirit. And you realize that because you thought to yourself, how can they be overly toxic and full of drama and mess and have the Holy Spirit like you got? You came to the realization that they did not have the Holy Spirit. That these people got mental, some serious mental health issues that they need to deal with. But yet they try to make you the problem. See, this is why you got to watch people that are mentally ill and full of drama and chaos. They will come at you and make it seem like you the problem. Have people gang up on you like you the one that's the problem. When well, you're not the problem, it's them with their mental illness. Or their mental demons or whatever it is that they're dealing with to come against you. So these people are having a rude awakening when you don't want to be bothered with them. Because now it's causing other people to look and see that maybe you're possibly not the problem after all. Maybe it really was just these people. That's the reason why you're not around and you're not around them any longer. Because they always been a problem. You just got older and realized you don't want to put up with this foolishness no more because first of all, life is too short to be dealing with a whole bunch of mentally challenged, toxic folks anyway in the first place. You realize that your time was of the essence and that your time was very valuable to you and you as a person was very valuable in the spirit. And yet these people want to constantly put you in drama, want to spit on your name, want to fight you, want to curse you out, want to beat on you, want to keep you in unnecessary drama, to keep you in that low vibrational toxic energy like them. And when you came to the realization of it, you said, you know what, I'm done. I am done with these people. They're clearly not worth my time because I got better things to do. So you got rid of them out of your life. And now you can flourish the way you're supposed to and think the way you're supposed to as a child of God, a child of light, because you're doing righteous things for the spirit, for God's heavenly kingdom. But yet these people are mad and disgusted because you don't want to be bothered with them and their shenanigans. What are these people upset about? Why are they upset that you don't want to be bothered with them? You don't have time for stanky, low vibrational, toxic, and miserable people. You don't have time for people that's going to constantly make you the problem 
to make themselves look good. You don't have time for people that's constantly going to put you down and lift themselves up on a pedestal when they should be putting you up on a pedestal because you the Holy Spirit anointed one and they should be put down like the devils they are because they clearly show signs that they are devils. But no, these people didn't want to do that. They thought you was always going to be the ridicule of the problem. They thought they was always going to make you out to be the bad person in front of a lot of people until you blocked them out of your life. And now people are starting to think twice about you as a person. Yeah, these people are wondering, thinking. Don't think they're not wondering about you. They're wondering hard. Well, we thought you was this way based off what this person said. But the truth is, you have not came back around these people. You block them off your social media. You say, y'all not even worth my time and energy. I played into this sad game y'all try to set me up in. And then now I'm just going to discard y'all like the people y'all should be discarded as. Because y'all clearly trash. And I'm clearly royalty is what you thought. Now these other people are having a rude awakening about that. They possibly could be the trash ones. And you are the royalty ones. This is what they're thinking every day when they think about you. Why haven't you came back? Why haven't you shown yourself back on social media after they try to put you in some unnecessary drama? What are you doing in life right now? Are you better? Little do they know you're a whole lot better. <laughs> Where are you going? Will you come back and entertain them in a drama? Are you happy? You are happy. But this is the answers that these miserable people want to know. <laughs> now they're mad and upset or just confused and shocked that you ain't came back around yet. You know your worth. It's time that these people know your worth too. Because you clearly knew your worth even though when they didn't. You knew that you wasn't going to sit around there with that foolishness. You knew you was not going to entertain these toxic folks on social media forever. You knew you was going to get off. You knew you was going to move forward in your life progress. You knew you had better things to do. You knew you were a good person. And you had stuff to do with your life that was better than the foolishness they were trying to put you in. Now everybody's just, now they miss you. Not only are they mad, they miss you as well. <laughs> M&Ms, the two M's. They mad but miss you also. They miss you because they miss that they can't make you the scapegoat to their problems. They miss you because they can't make you the punching bag to their situation and who they are. And they miss you because they realize that you really was a beautiful soul. And they should not never play with you in the first place. But because they thought you were so much of a goody person that they could do everything they wanted until you surprised them by not wanting to be bothered with them anymore after the situation. So these people are getting an utter rude awakening about you, that you are not the one to play around in foolishness like that because you are a better person than they thought you were and that you really do act royalty and you really are a divine, good, angelic person. Even though these people try to make you out seem like you was not so good, but you were good. You wasn't bothering these people. You wasn't bothering them. All you did was just show up and be happy. And they got irritated out of whatever issues they had going on mentally. Whatever issues they had, they tried to make you the problem. But you wasn't the problem because you are a holy divine light. So yes, now they're mad because a divine light like you don't want to deal with the darkness and evilness in them anymore. But that's their problem. Light cannot dwell around darkness. Only thing light is supposed to do is shed light on their darkness. And that's what you did. You shed light on these people's darkness. Whatever it is that was going on with them mentally and internally, your divine Holy Spirit light shed light on their darkness. Yet they despised you for that without cause. But that's not your concern anymore because you are in a better place than you were yesterday when you was around these miserable folks. Now you're happy and you can shine brighter and brighter for God's glory. 
you can shine brighter like never before because you ain't got distractions and people that don't mean you no good constantly putting you down, constantly ridiculing you, constantly making it seem like you were a bad person and constantly disrespecting you to lift themselves up to make them look good. You realize your worth and you realize that these people were just not worth your time. So let them be mad. Let them be upset that you don't want to be bothered with them. Let them wonder about you. Let them go sleep at night and have doubts and question marks in their head all the way until eternity if they want about you. You presented yourself in front of them and they chose to disrespect and mistreat you because they thought they were better than you. But now they're wondering now who was really the good one and who's really not. You handled that. You handled the situation the best way you could. And you did right by removing yourself because you realized these people wasn't worth your time. Do not fight fire with fire. Let God handle these people and let God handle them in their judgment when it came to you. Because they clearly had misjudgment when it came to a divine person like you. They had misjudgment. And now they're questioning, did they really do right by you? Or did they really do wrong by you? Just let God keep working on them. You keep moving forward and being that bright light that you are. And keep letting the Holy Spirit use you. And being a better person each and every day. The right people will appreciate you and your goodness. And the person you really are in the spirit. When they come across you. Because they're going to have the Holy Spirit in them. Just like you. To sense a good spirit soul like you. Just like they are good. Consult with God about who's supposed to be in your life this season. And if God got you in a season by yourself, be happy and rejoice about it. Because that means God just want to love on you a little closer and get you to gain a relationship with him without any distractions from others during this time. So continue to be blessed and continue to shine bright. Let them be bad and miserable. They shouldn't have came against you, making it seem like you was the problem when they in actuality was the problem. And that's the prophetic message I have for somebody on today. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.